in true fashion, I'm going to reveal something new that is has not been taught. This is lost knowledge about a specific angel in the Bible. And we're going to look at Ezekiel chapter 10. Now, there is an angel described in that chapter. Very specific angel that has many, many eyes. Many, many eyes. And, and there's a, a very vivid description about that angel. Well, nobody knows who that angel is. It has never been taught before, but I'm going to reveal who that angel is. That angel is actually one of the giants, the Nephilim, that found favor with God. Believe it or not, there were ones that found favor with the Lord, and when they died, they became mighty angels of the Lord. So this angel is actually Argos. It was the giant, the Nephilim Argos, who had many eyes. Now there are numerous stories about him, and what I'm showing you here is the oldest depiction of drawing of Argus from the 5th century BC. This drawing dates that far back and this is the depiction of where he was slain by Hermes and for those of you who have followed me you know that Hermes is in fact one of the evil Nephilim, the evil giants. And again, this is something that the Bible doesn't teach either. This is through my work and my uh, research that I'm able to share all of these things with you. So Hermes is not spoken of in the Bible, and Argos is not specifically named either. But they are, in fact, biblically connected giants, Nephilim offspring. So Hermes is the son of of the eldest sister of the Pleiades that are mentioned three times in Scripture. The Pleiades are mentioned in Job 38-31, Job 9 verse 9, and Amos 5 verse 8. This is the old oldest depiction known of Hermes slaying Argos because Argos was commissioned, and he was had many eyes. He was completely filled with eyes, and he had great strength. So he was commissioned to protect the sacred heifer. And you'll learn about this uh, a little bit. You'll get a little bit of this story if you read uh metamorphosis that was written by Ovid and again this is why Ovid just like John of Patmos this is why Ovid was exiled to the same island for the books that he was writing about these Nephilim and falling fallen angels and their Nephilim offspring so Argus who had hundreds of eyes was commissioned to protect the sacred heifer from Zeus because Zeus was attracted to the, he wanted to defile, Zeus wanted to defile the sacred heifer. And you can read about that in scripture, in the Bible, where the fallen angels had not just defiled and took human wives, they were also defiling the animals. Zeus of that generation is actually Baraquil, the fallen angel Baraquil, who was Satan's, Lucifer's ninth general. Zeus is actually, in fact, Baraquil. That is Lucifer's ninth general of the fallen. So Zeus wanted to defile the sacred heifer. And again, you read about this in Ovid's book, Metamorphosis. The best part about this, and the reason that I know about these things, if you read Ovid's book, you'll see that Argos 
in order to protect the sacred heifer from Baraquil, from Zeus, he actually tied the sacred heifer and it was uh, covered and hidden and tied to and understand what it means to be tied to something, to be connected to something. Argos tied, connected the sacred heifer and hid it under the sacred olive tree. The sacred olive tree. This is how I know these things. And this is some of the information that you can read about it. You can actually find some of this information if you search, search it out for yourself. So Argos, the giant, the Nephilim offspring, Argos, also killed another entity which had serpents for legs. He, he did many things to find favor with the Lord. He did many things to find favor with the Lord, and he was ultimately, because they saw it as if he had betrayed them, the other evil Nephilim saw it as if Argus had betrayed them, and Hermes, the evil Nephilim, slayed Argos. And in return for finding favor with the Lord, he made him into an angel, a powerful and great angel. And that is the angel that can be seen or read about in Ezekiel chapter 10. Incredible people. Something that has never been taught until now. But the reason I know about it, because the sacred heifer, was tied to, connected to, the sacred olive tree. And you'll read that in the book Metamorphosis, written by Ovid. God bless.